If we're focused on a brand new system, one area that we're going to need to get into right away is the serviceability menu option. This is where you actually turn on the capabilities for the various servers that you have in your cluster. So let's go ahead and go over to our communications manager solution. And I'm going to choose now the serviceability screen. Let's go there. And we'll see the menu options changing for what we have access to. We can set up alarms and traces, which allows us to set baselines, really, that will alert us if we go above them to maybe a potential problem or a load situation. If a gateway is maybe overloaded with traffic, we can have alarms set off that it really tag us and help us to know, oh, you know, there's a lot of use out there on this particular device or something might be going wrong. That's what our alarm and trace options are. The tools is where you activate services. I'm just going to pop in here to show you that you can actually select the server that's going to be a TFTP server, a music on hold server, a registration server. You get to choose which ones of these servers in your cluster are going to be performing those tasks. Now in my lab solution, I've turned everything on because I want to be able to uh, be able to demo everything for you that I can. One of the main things though I wanted to point out is before you can add a single phone, gateway, user, anything to the system, you must have activated the Cisco Call Manager service. That's why sometimes you hear me call this the Call Manager because the application, the service is called Call Manager. So this Call Manager service is what basically says this particular server, which happens to be my publisher, is going to allow registration, and then because it's my publisher, the insertion, deletion, and changes that are necessary for my phone system. So that Cisco call manager is not activated by default. You have to come into the serviceability screen and activate it. And you'll know if you try to add a phone, you're going to get a bunch of crazy messages, and I've done it, and uh, you won't be able to do it. And you'll be scratching your head saying, why can't I add a phone to the system or add a user? I better come check and see if I've actually activated this Cisco call manager service on my servers so that I can insert things and, and manage things in my database. 